Oh, it keeps falling. I don't believe it. I can't see it anymore. Anybody know how to get the camera to go landscape? Hey, D, it's Cindy. Um, is the camera showing landscape or straight up and down? Landscape or portraits? I did that and it wasn't doing it right. That looks like it's upside down. Now I'm upside down. What the heck? This is the first time I use my phone for um, StreamYard. Is it showing upside down? It is upside down. <laughs> It's still showing upside down. Oh my God. Cindy, just turn it. I did. Like this. Okay, what's the problem here? <laughs> Let me see. Hi, everybody. I'm trying to figure out the phone. I'm sorry. This is the first time I used the phone on StreamYard. But when I turn it on the side, it's doing me upside down that way, upside down that way. Now it's vertical. Hi, Carolyn. I'm trying to figure out this phone, I'm trying to get StreamYard to go sideways. You know how you usually do a picture or anything? Portrait or landscape. Yeah, portrait is like right now, right? And I want landscape, but it makes me go upside down. So I'm confused. Either way, I move my phone. Let me figure this out. Uh, do I need back count? That's not good. Like that. Come here and see if you see me. Yes, it's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's the right way. And it's land. Well, no, it's not landscape, but it's. You can see you're upside. You're not upside down. But I'm landscape. Yeah. No. Well, yes, you're not upside down. Am I landscape? No. Like the phone. No. Look, look at it, the way you're looking at it. The background and everything should be landscaped. It is. Okay. But fine. I'm not going to be able to see the feed. It's fine then. I'm not going to be able to see the feed. Wait a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm just trying to figure out this camera on my phone because I'm using StreamYard. Um, if anybody knows 
Michelle from Comfy Cozy, if she could get on here and help me out, because she just had hers on the phone with uh, StreamYard and had it correct. So maybe she could help me. I did, but then I'm upside down, Michelle. Either side, I'm upside down. We can try it. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what to do except for just leave it this way. Um, go to phone settings.
unlock the movement. Didn't do it. You gotta give it time to return it. Shh. Do it. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not going to play with it too much because I don't want to, you know, lose my time. I have a lot of uh, items to go through. I went to the settings and I um, did never for it, but um, I have a um, iPhone XR, I think it's called. Okay, that's all right, Michelle. I'm just going to do it this way, and you're going to have to see me this way. That's the best I can do today. Sorry, guys. I thought I had it under control. So anyway, let me put you up on the stand so I can at least have you a little bit away from me. Hang in there. Technical difficulties. All right. Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to get you to fix the um, phone, Brian, okay? Try to. Mm -hmm. All right. Pull the chair. Closer. Yeah, pull that chair closer. Closer, closer, closer. Yeah, this is just what I needed to, you know? <laughs> All right. So, welcome to Cindy Strifton again having de uh, technical difficulties. We are going to film this vertically. I'm sorry, um, apologize for that. Next time I will try to do a test shot before I <laughs> go on. But um, this is how we're gonna do it tonight so I can just hurry up and get this sale going. Uh, first things first, um, let's see. My, my email is blueduffy at gmail.com. And that is B L U D U F F Y at gmail.com. Um, it's no E on the blue, because I did do that wrong last time. So I don't want to do the same thing. So blue duffy at gmail.com. Okay. I know my recording is vertically. I cannot get it to go the right way. I've tried a couple different things and I don't want to waste my time. So Y'all get me vertically tonight. Ha ha. <laughs> All right. So that's that. Um, when you send me an email, please include your real name, your email name. Hi, Randy. Hi, Michelle at Mermaid, Mermaid Cove Plants and Treasure. Um, Dee's been on. She's been trying to help me. <laughs> and Michelle... Um, Comfy Cozy was on here trying to help me also. So anyway, we're we're going to do this vertically. I, I'm sorry about that. That's the way it goes. Um, next time, I'll try to have that under control. So when you um, send me your email again, use your YouTube name, your uh, regular name, your address with zip, um, and uh, your PayPal information. Um, if there's any questions, please question D. She knows everything from Thrill of the Thrift about these uh, sales. Um, I have my husband helping me out tonight and um, um, you guys helping me out tonight. So please just put something in the comments if you don't understand something or I do something wrong, okay? 
So we're going to get on to it. I do have a lot of items. I think I have 58. So we're going to roll through it, okay? Um, I appreciate you all coming. I appreciate you putting up with me. Um, I'm a newbie, and I'm trying, right? So on with the show. The first item up is a little towel with a little kitty cat. It kind of looks like Dee's cat right there. It's a little kitchen towel, I guess, or you can use it for, um, what's it called, for your hands in the bathroom. Um, and that is number 10, and it's $5. And it's like embroidered on it. It's really pretty. Has a little ladybug here. And it looks like, like I said, like uh, Dee's little cat, Binks. So if anybody wants this one, please let me know. Number 10, and it's $5. Oh, Charlie. Charlie in the corner. Oh, Dee wants that. Dee wants it, number 10. Next uh, thing I have up, this um, is kind of retro. There's three of them, kitty cats again. They look 90s to me. So you have this one and this one. He's laying down. And then you have a third one also that looks like he's falling asleep. They're adorable. They're like a light gray, and then they have flowers painted on them. Okay. And their number is 31. And they are on sale for $6 for all three. $6 for number 31. Number 31 for all three. $6. Number which do you think? 10. So all three for $6. And of course the ribbon kind of looks yucky. I would take it off if it were me, take it off and put some new uh, ribbon on it. I think it would look a lot nicer. And, uh, and you have three little kitties. They have like blue ear tips. So that's those number 31, $6. Carolyn, you want those? All right, they're yours. Is it Carolyn? Carolyn Glades. I think that's what that said. Glade. G. No, I'm sorry. Carolyn Gadless. Gadless, Gadless. I know she ordered something else from me last time. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, D. Next thing up is some salt and pepper shakers. And these look quite old. They do say Japan. Uh, they have the cork bottoms. There's one. And there's the other little pandas. And they are number 22. And they're $8. 22, $8. Hi, Michelle from Comfy Cozy. And Michelle from Comfy Cozy wants the pandas, number 22. And then I have this picture. This came, um, I think I told everybody last time that I went online on an auction during uh, being home for the virus. And this is beautiful. It does look old. When I looked them up for the, um, here's the maker. When I looked this up for the uh, prices on eBay, um, they were given some crazy prices saying this was like worth $100, $80. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think so. So anyway, I'm selling it tonight. It's a Coleman green and cream pitcher vase. Uh, it's number 41 for $20, 41 for 
it's that beautiful aqua and then it has some cream and brown and like i said it says coleman one four i think it says go or six o and it says made in germany so okay and it is number 41 20 dollars 41 20 dollars What a bargain. <laughs> um, did anybody want that? Oh, little vintage. I'm sorry you can't stay. Now I have a bag. And it's kind of like a beach bag or a big summer bag for you. Has some beautiful flowers on it. And then the other side has like diamond diamonds on it. It also has a zipper inside, so you can put little things. It's made by Paul or designed by Paul. I think it says Brent. I'm not sure, but it's on there. Can you see it? Move it closer. Yeah. Oop. There it is. Paul Brent. Um, it's like a canvasy feel, and it does have a zipper on top. To zipper it also okay and that one is number 31 and it's six dollars 31 six dollars oh i got the wrong thing i'm sorry skip that it's number 52 eight dollars the bag is number 52 eight dollars what did this go to me Oh, that went to the three kitties. Okay. Sorry. This is number 52, $8, guys. 52, $8. I'll let you think about that one. Can everybody hear me okay? I'm located in Dover, Delaware. Pamela. Okay, so the next one is a little duck and frog. And I think I got this, uh, oh, I don't remember, last year? Yeah, last year. And here's the little ducky. These are kind of like shelf sitters made by Russ. It's a little stuffed, but then it has the porcelain um, hands, feet, and head. So this is the duck dressed up in a dress and a little hat. And then this is the frog carrying a basket of eggs. And she has a hat and a dress. Like I said, they're um, stuffed a little bit. It's porcelain and um, on the face, arms and feet. And that number is number eight. And it's $6 for both. Eight six dollars okay and they're light eight six dollars everybody doing okay can you see everything okay let me know oh your stepson lives in dover wow that's cool okay next is Mr. Oh, my. This is a really nice uh, figurine. It doesn't have a maker's mark, but it's very detailed in the face. Mr. Charlie Chaplin. Um, so if you're a fan or you know when some someone that's a fan, this might be the right gift. And he is Number 20, $14. Oh, little vintage. He's in the Air Force. Oh, your husband was stationed at the base. Okay. So he was in the Air Force. He loves the frog. Yeah, D loves the frog. So anybody interested in Charlie Chaplin? Charlie Chaplin. Number 
We'll come back to them then. I don't know. I haven't seen Misty on here yet. Misty on here yet? No? Okay, so the next one is little handkerchiefs. I saw people selling them. I didn't know it was a thing still, but I guess people like them. So these are little ones that I found and they're embroidered. They're not in the best shape, but they're cute with the embroidery. This one says a present from Ireland. If you know anyone that's celebrating St. Patty's Day or really into being Irish, I guess. This one just has some cute little flowers. Hi, Teresa. And this one says souvenir of Toronto. And it has a leaf on there. Kind of looks like something else, but I don't know. You tell me. So it's the three handkerchiefs, three of them, for $5. And it's number 32. Number 32 for three handkerchiefs. And it's number 32. Five dollars. Five dollars for the three. Okay. And we'll keep on rolling. We have this Asian vase up next. Teresa, you want number 32? The, the handkerchiefs? Okay. Thank you, Teresa. What's wrong with Bryant. Okay, so we're uh, going to this Asian vase now. It is done very well. All the paint is within the lines. Beautiful iris. Um, beautiful flowers. Gold trimming it. Then there's that bird. I'm just checking it too. No. And uh, it doesn't have a maker's mark though. Very clean on the inside. But I love it. I have a hard time letting it go. But I've had it for, I don't know, close to a year. So time to move on. It is number 45. And it is $9. Number 45, $9. It's about, I'm going to have to bring my thing. How big would you say that was? Eight, eight nine inches. Eight, nine inches tall. So it will fit on most shelves, you know. And again, that's number 45, $9. Has a little bit of crazing, but it's also got the gold around the top, the gold around the bottom, gold outlining everything. Again, that's number 45 at $9. Okay. Next, we're gonna go to Disney World. I had a whole set of these and I sold sold them back last year and I forgot that I had one, you know, that was an oddball. So I'm going to try to sell it tonight. Has Mickey down here. See him? It's in like a pink depression glass color. And then it has the Mickey's going around the rim. It does have Disney on the uh, bottom, but I'm sure you probably can't read that. It's hard to read. Does have Disney on there. And that one, it's only one. It's uh, number 53. Number 53 for Mickey. I would call it like an ice cream bowl. Number 53 is $7. $7. Stella. So that's number 53, $7. Yeah. Get him. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, really? Everybody doing good? All right. Next up, we have a 
another tea towel, kitchen towel, whatever you call them. This one has an elephant on it. It's pretty cool. I had it on eBay and people kept on trying to get it for like $2. And I was like, oh, I don't think so. It's made really well. Um, what was the name of it? Here's the name. It's En Vogue. It's en Vogue. So that's the elephant tea towel, kitchen towel. And that's the number seven, six dollars. Number seven, six dollars. Randy, you want Mickey? Okay. That was number 53. So Randy, you can have Mickey. And he was seven dollars. Oh, okay, throw the thrift. I was doing it backwards again. <sighs> okay, so Randy got um, Mickey Mouse. And did anybody want uh, the elephant tail? The elephant tail is number seven. Six dollars. Number seven, six dollars. Oh, Michelle got number seven. Cool. My hippie friend. <laughs> Isn't that the Michelle? Yes. Yay, Michelle. Okay. Next up. Let's see. Anybody have Yorkies? Little dog Yorkies? I have three little Yorkies. Here's the first one. I don't know if he's showing so well, but that's the first one. They're not real big. They're like, I don't know, three inches or so high. This is the other one kind of laying down. And then this is the other one. Whoops. They got little red bows. Sorry guys, little red bows. Yay, Michelle, she got both things she wanted. So it's three of them. It's number 34, and they're $7. 34 for the Yorkies, Yorkshire Terriers. Yeah, Home Co., I forgot to say that. And they're number 34 for $7, all three, all three. Where's Mama D? She, I think she was the one that said she had Yorkies. She's not here, huh? Okay, we'll keep going. We have a poodle. Anybody have poodles? So this is a made in Japan poodle. He's laying down. He's mostly white. And he's got a cute little face though. And he's got that ball on top of his head with some kind of bow that's gold. Made in Japan. And he's about four by three, I guess. His number is 25. Sorry. His number is 25. And it's $7. Hi, Nicole from Nesting Haven. Number 25, 
Then we got what I named Crazy Cat. Look at this crazy cat. <laughs> he's got big yellow eyes like he's been surprised or scared to death. <laughs> And then he's got, you know, the whole body's right there. No maker's mark. Glazed really nice, though. Uh, he has the one paw sticking up. Little pink ears. What kind of pup do you have, Cindy? I have three puppies. No, I have four now. <laughs> I have a beagle mix. I have... Um, a Westie, and I have a Maltese uh, Shih Tzu. And then um, we just, I guess, kind of adopted his mom's dog because she's not able to take care of her anymore. So um, she's a Cairn Terrier. So she looks a lot like the Westie. She's just tan. Okay, so Randy Hellman, Hellman is uh, number 25 for the Poodle. Randy, Brian's writing it down for me. Last name. H-E-I-L-M-A-N. Okay, so Crazy Cat, again, Crazy Cat, number 47, $7. And then do we have any Coke lovers in the house? Coke lovers? I don't know. Some people like to collect Coke stuff. So uh, I have this big Coke tray. Oops, I lost the thing. This big Coke tray came in on my auction items. It's um, pretty big. How long would you say that is? Uh, 12 inches, 14 inches. Maybe like 14 by 9 or something? Um, 14 by 12. 12? 14 by 12. So for that Coke tray, if you're interested, it's number 50. Number 50. Seven dollars. Seven dollars for number fifty. I keep on doing it backwards. Sorry, guys. Katie and Vinny collect Coca-Cola. Up. Oh, well, they're missing out. They're missing out. Number fifty. Seven dollars. Let them know. If I don't sell it, they can still get it. And then I have these old books. That's why I was asking about Misty, because I she likes these old books. So these, uh, there's two of them. Bugs Bunny. Oh, Carolyn, you want number 50? Carolyn wants number 50. No, that's true. Mm-hmm. Carolyn. Just Carolyn. Carolyn G. Okay. Uh, I think she bought something else. Yes, she did, but I don't know what that was, so I'm just yeah. Carolyn. Okay, so this is the Bugs Bunny book. It's a accidental adventure, it says. Bugs Bunny has um, some color pictures in there. I think Nicole... Um, Nicole also likes these old books. So that's one. And then this one says, Journey to the Center of the Earth, the Fiery Foe. And that's the second one. There's a picture. So those two, those two books are $8.00. And they're number five. $8, number five, if you're interested. $8, 
eight dollars number five and then let's see what else mama j is mama j oh yeah hi mama j how are you uh let's see All right, next up is a Christmas item. It's a Christmas tin. Has some snowmen and children on it. It looks very old fashioned. I don't know how old it is. Oops. No maker's mark or anything. Very clean on the inside. Yes, I know I'm vertical tonight. I don't know why, but my phone would not let me go horizontal. There's the snowman. So this uh, tin is number 23 and it's $4. $4 for number 23, if you're interested in that one. How you doing, Mama J? Did you rush home? Carolyn wants number 23. Four dollars. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you. Okay, next up is Mr. Howdy Duty time. There's the one side of the cup. Here's the other side of the cup. It's howdy duty time. It's howdy duty time. Isn't that how it went? I don't know. I didn't watch it, but I know a lot of people used to when they were kids. So this is six dollars for howdy duty. And it's number 35. Teresa, my uh, email, if you're asking me, is blue duffy. So that's my first two dogs, B-L-U-D-U-F-F-Y at gmail.com. So there's Howdy Duty. Again, $6, number 35. Howdy Duty. Next up, uh, another Coke product or Coke what do you call it? Coasters. Advertisement thing. Yes. So these are coasters. They're in very good shape. They have the cork on the back. Uh, I guess it's like a plastic. Has the full Coca-Cola ad on there. There's four of them and a little holder. They're aluminum. It looks like, yeah. Oh, he said they're aluminum. My husband said they're aluminum. I don't know. They got a little metal tray also. I got them in there wrong. Anywho. Oh, so they are $8. And they are number 42. Number 42. So they're coasters for Coca-Cola. Again, $8, number 42. And there's four of them with a little holder. Little holder. I wasted time with those tags, I think. Then we have, again, Vintage and Vinyl has a coaster problem, too. <laughs> Yes, I'm shipping from Dover. Thank you. Dover, Delaware. Yes. Okay. So three Christmas ornaments advertising Coke. If anyone's interested, I'll show each one. And yes, these are the polar bears holding the Cokes. 
There's one. These are kind of uh, like rubbery. And they got the little cokes. And then we have this one that's plastic and um, one polar bear in the cooler. Uh, holding a Coke. And then we have this one. And for all three, it's only $4. He's got like a sled in front of him. Four dollars, number fifty-one. Four dollars, number fifty-one. Doing great, Mama J. Hanging in there with everything going on. <laughs> what else are you gonna do? So the three ornaments, number fifty-one, four dollars. Number fifty-one, four dollars. We're gonna keep on rolling. More coke. Uh, we're going to take the rest from the Coke. <laughs> we're going to do, uh, this is a Christmas house, uh, Christmas, what do they call it? Dickens Village Series, Kings Road Post Office, 1992, Department 56. Try to get in there so you can see some of the um, detail of it. It does not have a light or light cord. But other than that, easily done now. Yeah, you can buy one of those really easy. Other than that, I know these are highly collectible. I already sold two for more money, but I just wanted to get it out because it's been around for about eight months. Um, and this is number, I'm sorry, this is nine dollars, nine dollars for this Department 56 post office. Nine dollars, number three. Number three, if anybody collects those. It's not a chip on it, it's in beautiful shape. Again, I, I sold two of them and they are expensive normally. And like I said, I do not have the light uh, or the light cord, but I know you can buy those um, at the hobby stores and stuff. It's Dickens, just told me. Yeah, it's Dickens. It is a great buy. $9 for number three, if anyone's interested. Then we have more Coke stuff. Sorry, but in that auction, they gave me a bunch of Coke stuff and I don't collect Coke, so. Um, Carolyn, you want the Coke ornaments? <laughs> Carolyn, you want the Coke ornaments? Okay, write down Carolyn for the Coke ornaments. That was number four. Thank you, Carolyn. Number 51 for the three Coke ornaments. Thank you, Carolyn. All right, back to this one. Another Coke thing. It looks like a planter to me. I don't know. I guess you can hold anything in there. Maybe just your Coke collection. Um, and it is $8. And it is number 28. Eight dollars, number twenty-eight. It's like that galvanized metal, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, it has paper on there, but it's like all ripped up, so I can't tell like a year or anything. So that's that. Number Actually, twenty-eight, eight dollars. Put ice in there and put a few cokes. That's what, you know, um, Mermaid Cove just said that. My husband said, actually, you can put ice in there and put Cokes in there. <laughs> You're right. There goes D. She's writing the same thing. <laughs> That's my husband's phone. <laughs> so number 28, $8. Let me know. And let's see what else. This is $5 and I can't recall exactly where I got it, but it's this cute little piggy holding a rose with nerd glasses like me. <laughs> and it's 
and it's a cover for a pillow and it has a zipper on it and it's a beautiful zipper um you know you can just put on one of your old pillows or whatever it was brand new in package when i got it i think i got it from goodwill yeah goodwill and it's five dollars and it's number 40. five dollars number 40. Isn't that funny? I loved it. I wanted to use it myself, but I'm trying to sell more than I keep. You know, it's it's hard, but I I gotta gotta do something about it. <laughs> Mama J wants this. All right, Mama J, it's yours. The piggy's yours. Mama J. Mm -hmm. Just a letter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mama J. Thank you. Okay, so then we're going to go to salt and pepper shakers again. Little cows, if anybody is country. If anybody's country, the Moo Moo cows would look good in your kitchen. Salt and peppers. And these are six dollars. Six dollars. Holsteins. One has a like a burgundy red uh, bell when the other one has a blue. No, no chips or cracks, no maker. They have the plastic insert for the cover. They're really cute. They're not, they're $6, number 55. Number 55, $6, okay? Oh, Stephanie, you're tired out. <laughs> Michelle has her feet propped up on bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Now I have um, a little... It looks like a sugar bowl or a jam jar. I don't know. Purple flowers, gold on the tips, gold here. Hi, Vintage Mini. You're missing Coke products. And um, it is made in England by Staffordshire, 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 England. Fine bone china. I'll just show you. I know I'm vertical, Vintage Vinny. I couldn't get my phone to act right. It's always something. Every time I get on the YouTube thing, it's, it's always something, I tell you. So this is $8.00. No, I'm on the wrong thing. Yeah. Eight dollars number two. Eight dollars number two. Very nice. Has the maker's mark. I do not have the spoon. Some people call it a jam jar. I would use a sugar bowl. I'm just already using it because I've had it for a while. I like the purple flowers. I thought they were really pretty. I think it's violets. I don't know. Is it violets? <laughs> okay, so that's number two, eight dollars. And we'll keep on rolling. Welcome, Vinny. We have been missing you. Okay. Next up are these two plates. You can use them as a decorative uh, items. One, oh, one has, uh, I think these are cherries. I don't know, cherries or apples. Fry. Stella wants something from Brian that he's eating. <laughs> and um, has a maker's mark, but oh my goodness, I cannot read it. Made in Italy, I believe it says. So it's a cherry one 
and then it's a raspberry one. They're three dollars for the two of them. It would be very cute. My dogs are listening to Stella. <laughs> I know I used to work retail too. I might be in it again. Who knows? So that's raspberries. So the two of them are three dollars. That's number twenty-seven. Number twenty-seven, three dollars for cherries and raspberries. My camera keeps on getting pushed around by dogs and Brian. <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear barking or whatever. I got talkers. My dogs are talkers. Two twenty-seven. This yeah, this is number twenty-seven. Okay. Um, so the next Coke thing I have up are these, this little tin. This is number 37 Hello. and it's $6. It does have cards in it. Playing cards. And I, I did count them. So the cards do have, um, it's a whole deck, and the cards do have the uh, Santa Claus on there with the coat. Looks old. Yeah. This is what's on the back. Coke advertisement. And for that, yeah, I said it right. Number 37, $6. Number 37, $6. It's a nice tin, if nothing else. And it'd be good for Christmas or it'd be good for a Coke person. It says from 1931 through 1966, artist Haddon Sunblom. I guess that's how you say it. Created Santa Claus illustrations for the Coca-Cola company. People everywhere have defined an image of Santa Claus through Sunblum's paintings. This holiday season, the legacy lives on with this limited edition Coca-Cola tin and playing cards. Made in the USA. I was trying to find a year. <laughs> Couldn't find a year. But that's number 37 and it's Six dollars. <throat> that all the coke? Mm -mm. There's more. What? Wait. There's more. Mm -hmm. But we're not doing the coke yet. Um, I have another purse that looks old-fashioned. I'm not sure how old it is. It has a. It's embroidered like. Feels like a, a silk into another material. It has, you can make it two handled, has a kiss lock. Open it up. It says Made in Italy by Mr. R Ernest Simon. And this one is um, $14. $14. And it's number 46 for the purse. $14. Number 46. It has colors pink, orange, yellow, gold. Teal. On a cream. And teal. On a cream. Very nice. Again, that's fourteen dollars, number forty-six. Okay. Uh, Drifting Adventures, forty-six. Oh, Stephanie, you want that? All right. It hardly weighs anything, so that's good. <laughs> Where you live? What's the what's your name, Stephanie? Stephanie, from Thrifting Adventures. I know. He's driving me nuts. <laughs> what? D. D said, I see your husband peeking. 
or checking his look. <laughs> <laughs> What's um, Stephanie is uh, thrifting, any... thrifting adventures. Okay. And next up, we have another cup. This one is five dollars. Another Binks and a baby Binks for D. <laughs> the tail is the handle. It's very, very cute. I've had it on my eBay forever, and I thought a cat lover would love it. Made in, what's it say? Ta Taiwan. Taiwan. This is made in Taiwan. I couldn't even read it. He had to read it. I need new glasses, guys. My eyes are going really bad. Does that look like Binks, sort of? I know, I know. I've been, I've been um, collecting a lot of cups too. <laughs> so that was number 54, $5. If anyone's interested, let me know. You love working a lot of hours, huh, Vinny? Okay, so now I have this old, what they call a penny pot, red kettle penny pot. It is a bank. It does look very vintage. It's been used quite often, it looks like. <laughs> penny pot. Has a cork that's inside right now that I can't get it to come back out. It does have a maker's mark. Um, hmm. It says Lego on there, but I only know because I looked it up on eBay. And again, some people are selling these for fifty dollars, thirty dollars. Well, they're not selling them, but they have them up for that. And then other people have uh, ten dollars. So tonight, um, I'm selling this for $7, $7 for the penny pot, red kettle penny pot, and it's number four. Sandra, I am located in Dover, Delaware. Dover, Delaware. All right, Sandra, number four. Thank you, Sandra. I know Vintage Benny. We should get together and go shopping sometime. Thrifting, thrifting away. All right, I better stop relaxing because I have a lot more to go. Let's see. I have a blue glass bowl. It's very pretty. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, I think Viking made this. I'm not positive. There's so many glass makers. Unless it's labeled or on there, you don't really know. Has two handles. And it is $8. $8 for this, which is a good price. And it's number 26. 26. It is beautiful, Stephanie. Um, I, ha I have, um, I've been getting a lot of blue glass <laughs> because I love it. Um, again, that's number 26 for $8. But yeah, my house is starting to get crowded. We're trying to clear out a place in the basement for all the eBay things because my eBay room is just too tight. I think um, I was listening to D today and um, she said the same thing. Her eBay room was getting really tight. So that's the blue, gra blue glass small bowl, number 26, eight dollars. <laughs> I can't hardly talk. Oh, Carolyn, you want that? Go, Carolyn, go, go, Carolyn, go. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn.
let me write you down. Brian's eating now. He skipped out on me. <laughs> yeah, so I have a big basement. It's finished off. It just needs new carpet. Um, so I was down there today trying to get it all arranged. And the biggest, or I should say the hardest problem is, um, uh-oh, I got Michelle on TV. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I was saying, but anyway, yeah, I was down there today. The hardest part is taking things up and down the steps to, um, you know, put it all down there. And I got crates and all, so that's going to be a big job for the next week, probably. So um, we just did the blue glass bowl, and Carolyn got that, and I thank you, Carolyn, for that. And now next up is are these uh, little angels. I guess they're ornaments, or um, I guess it could be for any time. This one does say Mexico on the side. I think they're adorable. He's got a sombrero. But he's got a pair of wings and a little smile. <laughs> His legs dangle. And then it's this one too. He's all got a white uh, outfit on like an angel. And he's got a pair of wings. His legs dangle. And the two of those are um, $5. $5, number 30. $5, number 30 for these. Number 30. Little vintage is gone. <laughs> okay, so um, the little angels, number 30, five dollars. And I have this little trinket box. That has a parrot painted on it. It's wooden, but it has a little parrot painted on it. Um, up here it says Costa Rica, up here. And it just has a little lid, you know, and then the inside. It's tiny. It's just a little trinket box, like to put a couple earrings or rings in. There's no maker's mark, but it's pretty wood. Very pretty wood. I love parrots. They always catch my eye no matter what they're on. And um, that is number 49. Oh, I'm sorry. It's $5. And it's number 49. $5, number 49, for the parrot trinket box. Uh, D, my email is B-L-U, D-U-F-F-Y. It's my first two dogs. Blue is the Beagle, and Duffy is the Westie. No E on blue. BlueDuffy at gmail.com. So for the parrot uh, trinket box again, it is number 49, $5, $49, $5, okay? And then we have um, a purple heart plate, I called it, because it has purple flowers. It's in the shape of a heart. It looks like it had a hanger on it at one time. It does not have to hang on it now, but you can put like a ribbon or a wire if you want it on the wall or just use it as a trinket dish. I don't see purple very often, but I love purple. Uh, it's one of my favorite colors. I have many. And it's $4 and it's number 56. Number 56, $4.
And then I have another purple item. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. This is a bell. Uh, it's seven dollars, and it has a little hummingbird hanging from it. If you're a hummingbird lover, and it does have all this about being in a limited edition. Uh, it's heirloom porcelain. Um, it's from 2001. Oh, it's a Bradford edition. So it's a Bradford, one of those Bradford collectibles. But it is very pretty, it's done very well. $7, $7 for the Hummingbird Bell and it's number one. Number one. Then we have, Everything's far away from me now. I'm sorry that you're seeing the back of me. Uh, this Coca-Cola opener. This Coca-Cola opener is $4. And it's number 21. Oh, Violet. That's cute. So it's a Coca-Cola opener. It's like stainless steel. It says... Oh God, I can't read these. I got to get my magnifying glass out again. The Coca-Cola Company, all rights reserved. Oh, it was made in China. But it's cute. It could even be an ornament if you didn't want to use it, if you didn't want to mess it up. Oh, the thrill of the thrift, you want number one? Okay. Thank you, Dee. I'll put that aside for you. That is a beautiful, I love it. Beautiful bell. Let me write that down. Number one, D, Real Thrift. I got you, D. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you want the plate too? Okay. The plate was $4 and that was number 56. Number 56. D. Okay. I got you, D. Thank you so much. Uh, Kylie Cat, you want it what number? 21. You want the Coke opener? All right, Kylie Cat, I got gotcha. you. Thank you so much. Okay, and the next thing we have on here is my glass snowman. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the glass snowman, it's kind of like a paperweight. Uh, it does have a maker on there. I think it says in Taiwan, PR, made in Taiwan. I don't know. It's clear glass, but it's a snowman. I don't know how good it's showing. It's, it's a little bit heavy, but it's not like crazy heavy. It is uh, $8 and it's number 36. $8, number 36. If you're a snowman lover. Okay, then next up is a Lennox piece. And um, I like Lennox. I think it's pretty. But uh, I've had this one for over a year, so it's time to change up. It's a little holly, holly leaf dish trimmed in the gold. I know some people don't like Lennox. I don't know why. But um, it has three red berries on it. Trimmed in gold. Like I said, it is true Lennox. 
And I have that as nine dollars, number forty-seven. Nine dollars, number forty-seven. No chips, no cracks. All the points look nice. It was on my table last Christmas, but I have so much, I got to get rid of some. <laughs> I think so too. Um, so that's that one. And then uh, Christmas Angel I have next. And the Christmas Angel is $8. She's very cute. Oh, there is, I got to tell you, um, someone tried to fix it. And evidently, <laughs> they didn't look at the other wing when they were putting it on there. So they put it upside down, if you can see that. I didn't even notice that when I bought it. But when I got it home, I noticed it. And she is like a little bell. Whoops. She doesn't sound so great. Um, she has a maker sticker inside there that's in silver. She's made in Japan. hard to read. Again, my eyes fail me. I'm sorry, guys, I can't read it. Um, but it's made in Japan, has the silver maker's mark sticker in there and a number in there. Um, and like I said, she does have a broken wing that someone glued upside down. I didn't notice that it was upside down until I got it home. But she is cute. You don't really notice the wing when you have her this way. And she is $8, number 57. $8, number 57. I think she's very cute. She's half good. Yeah. Ring it. I did. Oh. I thought she was really cute. So that's another Christmas item for July. Number 57, $8. What's next? Let's see. Santa Golden Books. So these little books are $5. There's three of them. The Santa. These are vintage, right? Yes. The Big Bird. And the ABC one. I think the ABC one is the... Oh, it is colored on on the back. Um, the ABC one is the oldest. 1951. 1951. So they're $5. And they are number... Three. Number nine, yeah. Number nine for five dollars. This one's 87 for Big Bird. Does anybody remember Big Bird? Big Bird. Bert and Ernie. Big Bird. Hey, Bert. Ernie. Number nine, five dollars. Santa's Toy Shop. That would be good as a display thing for Christmas if you don't have little children. There's a colored um, photo, illustration. picture illustration. And then, what was his number? he is so cute. I'm tempted. Number nine. Slow down. Number nine, five dollars. What was the one before? It's right there. No, no, no. This big bird is um, 1987. And it has wonderful illustrations too. You can do what? Hot water and melt the hot glue and fix the wing. I'm not trying that. <laughs> and this little golden book, ABC, belonged to Justin. And it's 1951, like I said. Look at that monkey. So that's the three books for $5. So, okay. okay, next up, 
my big Santa. Oh, God, I love that. <laughs> You're selling that? I'm selling it. My big Santa. Show them how well it's painted on the face, too. There's yeah, a lot the of face is really nice. And the cute. No nicks or cracks or Thank no you. color loss either, really. No, no it's nice. It's, it's in very, very good shape. I saw these on eBay. You know, some people are crazy. They want $100. You usually don't get $100 for these. Um, I saw that they were selling them for like 35 to 55 So this one's on sale tonight for Christmas in July for $23. $23, no. number 80 No. I do live in Dover, Delaware. This is going to have to be in a little bit bigger box. So that's why I gave you such a break in the price. $23. Okay. D has them. That doesn't, that does not uh, surprise me, D. You have probably like one of everything. <laughs> You're a Christmas lady. That is a good price, Randy. $23 for Santa. Uh, like I said, he has, you know, some of them have weird faces. This one has a beautiful face. Um, so is it a blow mold? It's, I don't know. It, you know, with someone's ceramics project, there's no name on there and no year, but, um, Right, Mama J? D has everything. <laughs> this is ceramic. Ceramic. D is Mrs. Claus. <laughs> there you go, D. That's your new name, Mrs. Claus. <laughs> so again, he's $23 and he is, what did I say, the number? Number 80. 80. 80. Whew, I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's getting the 717. We have to hurry up. Okay, so the next in line is this. This little container that has holly on it. It is a lid. Pick it up. And it's $6 because it's chipped on the inside rim. No, please. Um, right here. And I know you can file that down so it doesn't hurt anybody. The lid stays on fine. This is uh, six dollars. Put the lid back on. Thank you, honey. And it's number eighty-nine. Six dollars, number eighty-nine. Spinning around the whole thing. There you go. I'm having a hard time, guys. Stupid camera. Stupid camera. Stupid phone. <laughs> Don't they? What did I say? Number 89, $6. It has that. That's why I'm selling it for $6. Blue. Stella. No. It is chipped here. Like I said, you could file it down so it doesn't cut anyone. Um, and once you file that down, it'll be fine. I have a couple of things like that that I, I use every year because I just am attached to them. And that's that. It's number $89.6. Then I have this Farmer magazine. I brought this to put on because, again, you know, I know Misty loves that kind of stuff. And I thought this, this is a cool magazine. It's very old. It is $4. 1943, is it? Or 42? Yeah, May 1943. So that's right around the wartime, right? Yes. And it has um, some wild ads on there. <clears throat> and I forget what I was going to show you now, but. The old oh, part. here's um, Bob Hope when he was younger. Bob Hope's in there. He talks about them. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I like the graphics too. 
And I know some people, here's a little bit about the war or something there. But yeah, good rich. It's talking about the tires, I guess. Pretty cool. Anyway, $4 for that. And it's number 60 if you're interested in the Farmer Magazine. I wish that little white thing wasn't on her hat. It would be a really nice picture. You could use it to decorate. Okay, then next up, let's keep on going real fast. So 60, 60. Oh, okay. D, you want that? Okay. I got you, D. Thanks, D. Okay. <clears throat> Gotta get this stuff. Everything's far, far away from me now. Ugh. All right, some kitchen towels again. These two little owl ones. I have two of them of the same kind. Two kitchen towels. I don't know how old they are, but. <clears throat> They're made by Ritz. They're $5 for the two. <clears throat> Number 66. Number 66 for two kitchen towels with towels. That rhymed. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> $5, number 66. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> two kitchen towels with owls. Number 66, five dollars. Very cute little owl. Three people want a number 60. Mm -hmm. And then the next I have a little, um, what do you call this? Another kitchen towel. St. Patrick's Day. Clovers. Clover leaves. And this one is four dollars, number 88. Four dollars, number 88. Anybody want some kitchen towels? Make a good face mask if you can do that with the folder. And then I have one more. It's that nice cotton, just like the clover leaf one was. And it's in a beautiful aqua and black and white um, design. Plaid, maybe? I don't know what you would call that. And that one's $4. And it's that cotton that's real nice and smooth for kitchen. Okay, so the green, um, the two owls, $5.66. Yes, D, everybody is quiet. What's going on? Why I know, right? Quiet? Is it just D? <laughs> Come on, let's, let's raise some fun. Let's have some noise. And then St. Patty's towel is $4, number 88, and the aqua black and cream one is uh, $4, number 70. Now I got this old camera also. I need coffee too. Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, this old camera I got in the auction. Polaroid, what? Um, yeah, it was Polaroid. I was trying to get $8 out of it because on the... Um, eBay, it's they're selling them for like twelve and up, depending on you know how nice they are. This one doesn't have like its insides, but it's a good display piece if you like cameras or photography. You had it right. No, I was trying way. to open it. The other way. Should be. And it opens. Yeah, Brian says it was like an old. Polaroid. I don't know what it was, but it opens like this. And it has this for a winder, I guess, this thing up here. Timer or the, the button for and it, you know, the lens is out, but that's where it was, I guess. And it has that where you clicked it, I guess. But it is old. It is very old. And like I said, it's eight dollars. Came from the auction. It's number 75 if you're interested. Number 75. Of 
cool here too. Oh, it is. I just went outside. It's starting to cool off. Oh, cool. So number 75, $8 for the camera if yeah, you're interested. It is cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, then I have a, a Santa tin. This, um, I forget. I looked this all up and knew all about it. I thought it was so cool. I think Vinci Vinci likes the, the camera. He said, wow. <clears throat> Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, this one. You want to show this? Yeah. That's like, oh, I love that one. So this is a pewter on a tin. Uh, I can't remember about the company now. I knew all the background and, you know, I can't keep stuff anymore. My my mind does not allow for that. Yeah, I want that, though. Um, can so, you see it? Somebody wants 75. Who? Yes. Cali Cat wants number 75. That's the camera, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was the camera. Cat. So this is a tin. Um, they have numerous ones. If you look them up on eBay, you'll see different designs. And again, this is something that some people try to get a lot of money for, but they end up not pulling. Um, this one has a lot of patina, so it must be pretty old. Uh, that pewter thing is pretty darn heavy. Um, yeah. It's really cool. You could store something in here, or you could just display it, you know. It's don't really well the, the, the cover of the I'm top. selling it um for eight dollars. The top is really beautiful. Yeah the top is it's really done well. it's, a, it's a very classic illustration. I too. can't even remember the name um but I had it all on eBay last Christmas. It never did sell. Um so it's eight dollars and it is number ninety number ninety if you're interested. So you said the camera did sell? Mm, that's great. Thank you, Kai. Uh, it was Kylie Cat, right? Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Kylie Cat. Still love the camera. Um, somebody bought 90. Okay, that's the Santa tin. Oh, good. Uh, thank you very, very much. If I'm going to miss it. I really am. I love it. So uh, going to somebody else's stuff, that's great. And then next... Let's see, the tin went to Lynn Hampton. Lynn Hampton got the tin. And then I have a crocheted blanket I picked up. It is. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I love that one. $16. So this would be $16. It has a mauve, a gray. What would you call that? Coral. I think it's coral. And also, blue. And a little bit of dusty pink. blue. A little bit of pink in there. There too. are no holes or anything. No pools. It is in very good shape. It's done in the granny square design. Um, and what did I say? How much did I just say? I can't find the tag. Is that right there? No, it's not. 16. $16. It's 16. Love that. $16 and it is number 100. Number 100 for the crocheted blanket, granny square style. Very nice colors. Very well done. If it doesn't sell, I won't be upset. I'll just, <laughs> just, <laughs> I'll just keep it. <laughs> I can make it too, but I, I don't really have time to make them anymore. <laughs> Okay, so that's that one. Let me use a pen a minute. Thank you. Okay. This is pro. Give me that pile right there. Yes, dear. Thank you, dear. Oh, this is cool stuff. Okay. Whoop. Next, we got another purse. And... This purse is going to be $8. Excuse me, Brian. <laughs> $8. It's like a hippie purse. 
Um, it's made by Lucky. My email, Lynn, is blueduffy at gmail.com. No E on the blue, just B-L-U. Blue for my beagle, duffy for my Westie at gmail.com. B-L-U-D-U-F-F-Y at gmail.com. And this is made by Lucky, I said, right there. It has a magnetic closure. It has a zipper in here. I really like this too. Something else that I didn't want to get rid of, but I have so many purses. I have so many. And you can turn it um, onto the denim side too and use it that way. And then you're advertising the Lucky brand, but you still, you know, you can use it that way. And it is wrinkled because it's been in a uh, plastic bin, but uh, so it's reversible. And eight dollars, and it's letter L, letter L. <clears throat> Thank you, Lynn. <coughs> letter L, excuse me. For the lucky purse, eight dollars. Gotta take a drink. Uh, then I have these green shorts. Uh, I think they call these rompers, but this might be a beach cover up. This is a size large, kind of tie dye looking, has lace on the bottom, very boho or lounge around your house in it. See, it's like shorts. I can't really show you very well, but it's a romper. It's a large, it does have sleeves, uh, like three quarter length sleeves. It's very nice. Oh, Sandra, you want L? Okay. What do you do with that pen? Sandra, thank you so much for buying the purse. My dad would take us camping and hiking all the time. That was big fun. <laughs> I like camping too. I was at, on my vacation, I went down to Texas to my son's and son's family. Uh, in El Paso, Texas, and it was beautiful, beautiful weather. Uh, the highest it got was 107, <laughs> but it doesn't feel that bad. Like it's very hot, but it's not like here where it's humid. So you don't feel quite as hot. And um, we went to Elephant uh, Boot, Elephant Boot Lake. It's a state park. Uh, it's a beautiful lake. And you have the scenery of the mountains and all. I don't know. I think I put a picture up, but I'm not sure. Um, yes, I don't know. Something's going on with my bra straps tonight. <laughs> so anyway, this romper is um, <coughs> lace on the bottom, green and white, sort of tie dye. Um, selling it for, what did I say? $6 for this romper. Six dollars and it's letter G, letter G. Okay, letter G. Yeah, 107, very hot. But it does not feel like here. Um, I mean, if you started walking a lot or something, yes, you're gonna sweat your butt off. But um, in the backyard, it was a little bit breezy. We had a pool, you know, the kids were in the pool if we weren't on the lake. The Elephant Boot Lake is actually in New Mexico. Um, so that's a two hour drive. Kylie Cat wants G. Okay, good job. I decided to put a few uh, clothes in just to see if anyone um, was interested. <laughs> Thank you, Kylie Cat, for getting the romper. Um, New Mexico was beautiful, though. Yeah, we went there to uh, what they call Sitting Bulls. Um, uh, falls, sitting bulls, falls, and uh, it was one big one and then two small ones. 
And uh, that was really pretty too. I have some pictures of that I'll share with you sometime too. Um, and again, that day it was like 106, you know. <laughs> so, okay, on with this. So I have this vest, this brown vest. It kind of is like a suede look, but it's not suede. It does have cutouts on it. I think it's very cool, very hip. Um, I don't, it says uh, small, medium, but it even fits me and I'm a large. So I don't know, you know. It is $9, $9 and it's letter A. It's kind of on the long side, it comes down you see it <laughs> and um has that little flippy thing in the front and it like i said it says small medium but it fits me of course i don't have a thick sweater or nothing on but um yes new mexico is beautiful so this one again this is uh letter a nine dollars letter a nine dollars letter a nine dollars Letter A, $9, if you're interested. And then I have this Calvin Klein t-shirt for $6. And it's C, $6, C. Uh, it's, um, <laughs> it says small. How is that a small? That does not look like a small. That would fit me. It says small, but it's... It's a big small. It's a big small. So think about it. And this is uh, $6 letter C for the Calvin t-shirt. I have something over here. What's this? Oh, this says Calvin. T-shirt. Uh, better bra. Yeah, because my straps were falling down. So Calvin Klein t-shirt, $6. Let her see if you're interested. Blue. Blue cape. Okay. Stella. No. Stella. And then I have this no. last one is a large, I think. This is a purple sweater. Again, look my purple. It's $8. It's it's a sweater, but it it is very thin and very um like it would go over top of blouse or a tank top you could wear it even now probably at night um no pools or anything it's kind of like a crocheted or knitted look it's a big size uh i don't think it has a size on it anyway i'm a large so it's probably an extra large it has um, Stella. a little pool thing here and a little pool thing here no. on the side. No. So that is, um, what did I say? $8 letter P. $8 letter P. It's very pretty. No. Very pretty. Okay, now going back to the um, hard goods. I have this cross ornament that's like, um, what is that, like stainless steel? Yeah, how do you get rid of this? I don't know. Like stainless steel cross. And it is uh, $4, number 92. Four dollars, number ninety-two. I tried to get it to go. Sorry. I'm back. <laughs> Four dollars, number ninety-two for the ornament. It's very nice. It does have a little thing hanging from it that says twenty ten, but you could even take that off if you want it. So, if you like, it's pretty crosses. I like it. Then I have this. Stella, no. 
last but not least, I think it's the last thing. Oh no, I have that gray sign. Okay. This is not last. So we got one more thing. Okay. One more. This is six dollars, number ninety-one. Six dollars, number ninety-one. It's an eyeglass case with um needlepoint. needlepoint on it, all different flowers. I thought it was pretty. Six dollars for an eyeglass case. Just slip your glasses in there. Number 91. Number 91, six dollars. Yeah, Are you all there? <laughs> Hello. Hi, Teresa. Thanks. Yeah, that was my boo boo. Oh, well. Yeah, he pushed the thing to get a message off. Okay, so we did that. We did that. Okay, this is this is the final thing, I believe. So final is this little plaque that says Grace Each Day with Thanks. And it just hangs, has a little hanger there. Um, it's $5, number 93. Number 93, $5. It's ceramic. The kids' books, the golden books or the old, old, old ones? I don't think either one sold. No, neither one sold. Did you want one of those? Stephanie? Tell me the golden books or the really old ones? They're not there. Okay. That's sold stuff. Like I had these two old, old ones. And then I had the three golden books, and they're somewhere on this table. Oh, here they are. The three golden books did not sell, and they were three, four, five. The really old ones are these, and these were two, four, eight. Bugs Bunny and Journey to the Center. Yeah. Bugs Bunny and Journey to the Earth. Journey to the Center of the Earth. So the old, old ones are two for eight and the golden books are three for five. <laughs> and guys, we've come to an end. I'm done. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Any questions about something that you were interested in? My email again is blue duffy, B L U. D U F F Y at gmail.com. I would change that, but I have so many things on that. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Stephanie, did you want the golden books or the really, really old ones? I thought it was a pretty good sale. I appreciate all you guys coming. Again, send me an email at blueduffy at gmail.com with all your information. Your regular name, your um, YouTube name, um, your address, and your PayPal information, please. And I'll send those invoices out starting tomorrow um, and Saturday. Okay, Stephanie, you want the golden books? I got you, dear. Thank you so much. What was your number? Um, just the golden books. Okay. I appreciate you all coming. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Mama you. Jay. Um, have a great weekend coming up. Um, I know I'm going to. I might go thrifting again. <laughs> um, and that wraps it up. So, again, thanks. I had fun, too. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of fun. Doing it again soon. Bye, guys. See ya. That's pretty cool.